Hello and welcome back. You may have come to a meeting, and on that meeting, you may have been greeted by a polar bear, or other comedy character. Well, that person will be using a tool called FaceRig, and you can integrate it into your Google Hangouts, Google Meet, and use in your meeting rooms in Google Classroom. Let's see how. So, as I mentioned, whilst dressed as a polar bear, FaceRig is a piece of software that can allow motion tracking to track the features of your face. Really good stuff. Available on Steam uh, for about 12 British pounds at the moment. There is a super deal on, uh, especially during the COVID pandemic. But the application for this are endless. As we can see, there are all different characters. There's also a Hall of Fame up here. And by going on Buy It Now, it'll direct you to the Steam shop. So, how does it work? Well, like with any piece of software, especially with video conferencing, it's all about the camera feeds. If I go into our meeting, here's the meeting, um, and you can see I'm here as a polar bear. No problem. I'm broadcasting from FaceRig. But how do I do that? Well, let's take a look at the FaceRig software, which we can see here on the screen. So here's my avatar, the polar bear. But what's actually going on? So here's a picture of a picture. So here I am in my very sort of busy workshop area. And you can see the dots on the screen are tracking my lips, my eyebrows, my nose. So when I do the, do the eyebrows, so the, the bear's eyebrows, works as well and that's fantastic brilliant uh, so that's what's actually going on so those dots the feed is coming into my microsoft live camera my webcam it's then being translated through face rig we're then broadcasting now, this is a hidden function um, at the top we can hide the interface we can take a screenshot we can do toggle picture in picture mode which is what we're seeing now Okay, um, we've got broadcast, which sends your image and your motion capture to your software of choice, whether that be Google Hangouts, whether that be Google Meet, whether that be Microsoft Teams, Zoom, you name it, it'll work. Um, also, we've got face tracking, you can turn face tracking on or off. At the top, you've got auto calibrate for calibrating your head pose, lip sync as well. Uh, you can record the performances, play them back and put backdrops on them as well, or a green screen. So this is a basic interface that you typically get. You can see there's no broadcast there. Always click on the UI plus for the advanced input source as well. So you can click on broadcast and then that gets sent to Google Meet. So let's take a look at some of the avatars we've got as well. So there's good old Foxy down here. He's a quite a a good favorite of everybody's you know quite a good fox he's got his um his goggles on a little bit wind in the willows i think um but very good facial animations and it's one of the key characters you get as well with the software um plenty of others that you can purchase in packs and a lot that come free as well i mean if you want to start joining your your meetings as a dragon that could be quite apt for some members of staff you know who you are um, and then also you can put some environments in as well. So any environments that lend themselves perfectly to a dragon, this sort of very Lord of the Rings, smog under the lonely mountain sort of topic as well. Excellent if you're teaching English literature uh, for Google Classroom and you can narrate, say, a story as a dragon. How cool would that be? Um, applications for this, uh, I think, are absolutely, well, there are so many applications for this, especially in education, but also to have a little bit of fun in your meetings as well. In addition to this as well, you can put um, customization and props and behavior. Okay, so props, um, add a prop. If you want your dragon to, for example, have Christmas baubles or a crown or smoke a cigarette or a cigar, you can do. Um, customization, you can change the eye color as well should you want or reset to defaults things to do and play around with but getting it to work within 
Hangouts. And you can see it's gone off screen, so if I do a bit of tracking there. Let's turn off the camera. Um, typically, down to settings. Go to your video feed. Make sure your video feed is set to face rig virtual camera. Now, typically mine would be set to Microsoft Life Cam, uh, and you'd be seeing my normal face. Set it to face rig virtual camera. Click done. And start your video. Now, typically, if we go back to face rig, we can recalibrate ourselves and center ourselves, or we'll just use another avatar. Perhaps we'll go with the burger. Check out face, check out Google Meet. Here we are in our meeting. As you would normally see, my name. You can see um, voices going through the computer as well via my input mic. And I am dressed as a burger in my meeting. How cool is that? Well, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments section if you think that's going to be pretty good and useful for Google Hangouts, uh, Google Meet, and what other software you're using to make things a little bit more lively as well in your meetings. Thanks very much for watching. Check back for more videos in the series, and I'll see you soon.